Okay, today I'm going to show you how to download contacts in LeadFerret and the various ways that you can do that. So we're at LeadFerret. First thing we're going to do is run a quick search. I'm going to run a search for, say, business development, VPs and directors. We'll run that search. And then I'm going to show you how to download those contacts to CSV file or vCard. Of course, you need points to download records. If you're not sure how to get points or how to buy points, um, check out one of our other tutorial videos. But now that I have the records on the screen, here I can show you the various ways that you can download them. And anywhere in LeadFerret that you see a list of contacts like this, you can use these same tools to download records, um, whether it be here in the search results or in the target contacts page. And if you're not familiar with target contacts, check out one of our other videos on what exactly the target contacts list is, or whether it's your download history, anything like that, you can download contacts using one of numerous tools available. So the first one is real simple. Let's say you've taken a look at a few contacts here and uh, You've decided that they're contacts you like and you want to download them to spreadsheet to use offline. You can simply check the box next to those contacts and any other contacts that you want and click download selected um, records and that's going to download all those that you have a checkbox next to. Now you get an alert that tells you you're about to download six records, two of which you've already downloaded. So we never charge you twice for this to download the same contact. So you're about to download six, but you're only actually going to be charged for four contacts, as you can see there. I say, okay, great, give me all six, but I'll only be charged for four because I already purchased two previously. It, it lets me know the download has successfully occurred. Okay, so now you can see. Um, all the data has been downloaded. I now have it offline to use in the spreadsheet. I've got uh, email addresses, social media links, title, company, all the information that's available um, on the website um, is now I ha now have in spreadsheet. Okay, we'll close that. Another way you can download contacts. Let's say you. Um, as you can see here in this search, I have 48,000 results. And let's say you have quite a few points and you want to download more than just the contacts on this first page, which is the first 50 records. So I could check this box here, and this will allow me to download the first 50 records. Okay, so if I want to download, again, more than the 50 contacts available on this page all at once, first thing is I need to be a premium member. So you can get some points as a non-premium member. Premium members of those have a, have a monthly subscription. but uh, And you may have enough points to download more records than is on one page, but you won't see this feature available, which allows you to download a larger quantity than just the 50 per page in a single download. This feature is only available to premium users, but I could put in, if I am a premium user, or since I am, I can put in uh, 200 records, and I could download all of those. Um, again, nine I have already downloaded, so it's only going to charge me for 191. Um, but I could download all of those to spreadsheet. That's another way that you can download contacts, but again, only available to our premium subscribers. Um, you could also, for an individual contact, click on Get vCard, which when you click on that, that, that's a method to simply download a single record to vCard and if you're familiar with vCards, you can use those uh, in your address book or in um, uh, to send to another a colleague through email, something like that. Um, so if you want to download a vCard, you use one point for each vCard you've downloaded. Of course, if you've already paid to download that contact into a spreadsheet, then you can download that contact to vCard as many times as you want at no charge. Now, also, we found that a lot of people like to go through, find individual contacts, add them to a vCard, and then late, or add them to a CSV file, and then later download um, all those contacts at once. So this is another way that you can actually download contacts to a spreadsheet, is you can go through and say, okay, yes, I wanted to add that contact to a spreadsheet. I want to add that contact to a spreadsheet. I want to add this contact to a spreadsheet. Um, I want to add this contact to spreadsheet, but you see it's not actually generating a spreadsheet at that time. 
um, what it's doing is it's putting those sort of in a reservoir where I've paid for them, but I can download them all into one spreadsheet later. And you do that by going up here to Dashboard and then to um, Download Your Spreadsheet. And then you look for option three here, which is records that have not been downloaded. So use this button to download all records that you have used points to add to your CSV file, but you have not yet downloaded. And there are 10 records in there. So if I click on this, it's going to download those 10 records to spreadsheets. So that's another way to download contacts. Now, if I have already downloaded a contact, whether it is through any of the methods that I've described, CSV, um, downloading selected contacts, downloading one contact at a time to vCard, or downloading the first X number of records, in this case, in this example, 200. If I've done that with any contact, you will see that the CSV uh, icon and the vCard icon here to the right of that contact are lit up as opposed to being slightly grayed out like the contact just above that. So it's a visual representation of what you have already downloaded to spreadsheet as well. And again, as I mentioned, you can go into your target contacts and download any of those that you have not already downloaded or those that you have already downloaded using the same set of tools, selecting records, downloading selected records, or downloading first X number of records if you have a lot of target contacts. And um, yeah, anywhere where you see a list of contacts like that, you can like this, you can use these tools to download uh, records. Thank you.